Okay, welcome back. So today we're going to take the data and analyze the data um, for our scientific method lab on adhesion. So up at this, to this point you've got your strips all hopefully the same size of your different paper towel brands and we're going to try to find out which one has the highest adhesion to water. Now the way we're going to test this is as follows. We have a clamp over a pan of water. You're going to pick your paper towel and I think I'll just start with the school brand. You place it in the clamp and what we're going to do is lower it down so the top level of the water is at the one centimeter line. That way we know that all of the paper towels will be only one centimeter deep. And we will time how far the water raises up in 30 seconds. Now to mark it, we're just going to do a scissor snip. So however high it is, you'll just put a little snip on the side. That way you, you're not trying to write and it's all wet and it just seems to work out better. So let's go ahead and do that. So you get one person on a timer. You alert down, you stay on your mark, get set, go. So once it's in the water, you've got it timing. So now for 30 seconds, the water level is rising as the water is adhering to or being attracted to the paper towel. And it's <laughs> slowly rising. And when 30 seconds are up, you take it out, you look at it and say, okay, how high did the water go? And we see there's the highest point right about there. And so we make a little snip mark. Okay, then what you're going to do is lay it out, just flatten it out, and using your metric ruler, you're going to measure how many centimeters high the water rose from the bottom of the towel strip. So an easy way to do that is just uh, put it on. And so mine went from 25 to like 23.2, so that'd be one centimeter, so like 1.8 centimeters. So you will make a data chart on your graph paper, and the maximum water height it raised in 30 seconds was 1.8 eight centimeters. Then you would do that for the other five that you choose. You should have six. You can choose any five you want. Remember though our hypothesis was that Bounty and Viva would probably be the best so you might want to make sure you include those. When you're done then and have all your data and your data chart, on the other side I want you to make a bar graph where you will graph your data. There's an example graph posted over there on the display board. Then you will need to go and figure out if your hypothesis was correct or incorrect. State your conclusion, what conclusion you can draw from your results. List human error, design error, and then tell me if you are going to continue this experiment or more investigation on paper towels and their adhesion, what you would think would be a good next experiment. When you're done then, you will take your graphic organizer with your name on it. You'll have your graph, your data chart completed. Staple those together and turn those in as a method showing me that you understand how to use the scientific method to solve problems. Okay. Yep.